So this is a great, 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 great thing. Great, 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 great thing to know about. It's going to save you money. Save you money. Save you money. This will save you money knowing that you could purchase educational pricing. Uh, you can get educational pricing on a lot of the things you want to purchase in, uh, in computers and in software. For instance, if you go to Google and you search for Apple Education Store, you will come to the Apple Store for Education, where you will be able to buy everything that Apple sells for less money. Right? Like, w where could you go wrong with that? You could buy everything Apple sells for less money. <laughs> and what does it take to be uh, able to shop here? You need to be a student or a teacher. And who amongst us doesn't learn something every day and couldn't call themselves a student? And who amongst us doesn't teach something every day and uh, to someone or anybody, even if it's just our dog, and couldn't consider ourselves also a teacher? Of course, sometimes, particularly Apple, their, uh, their qualifications for getting this pricing is a little bit more rigorous. But a lot of places, they don't have such rigorous uh, uh, filtering. And you can just buy the academic version of uh, whatever it is you want to get for less money. And uh, it's going to be the exact same product, the exact same software. It's just at a cheaper price. The only caveat is you can't use it for business, right? You can't use it for commercial purposes. It's for learning. And so if you're just learning, if you're trying to figure out how to do something, you're learning. Try to get academic pricing on whatever it is you're buying or educational pricing on whatever it is you're buying. But if you run a company, if you have your own real estate company, or your own, you know, pizza parlor or whatever, and you're buying software to run in your company, uh, not a good idea to get the educational pricing. Will you get busted? Probably not. But uh, ethically and legally, you're, uh, yeah, you're using something in a way uh, which, uh, you know, you've agreed to use it in one way and you're not using it in that way. You're using it in a different way. So you're kind of like not being a person, an individual with integrity and character who uh, says what they mean and means what they say and keeps their word when they say it, right? Because you're agreeing, okay, I won't use it in my business, but then you're going and using it in your business. So this is a educational pricing or academic pricing. If I go to Google and search for Adobe Academic, I get links to uh, Adobe Software's educational pricing. And uh, again, same software, less money. I like that. Same software, less money. And so uh, right here, you can check that out. Anything you want to look at, always, always, always check to see if they have educational pricing or academic pricing, because that will save you money when you're going to buy that software or that hardware. Just out of curiosity, does Dell academic pricing, you know, education? And uh, Dell has an education area. Dell has an education area, so you can check all this out. Uh, but I still buy my Dells for personal use. I buy them at Costco because uh, this is actually more for schools at Dell. But uh, yeah, check it out. Try it. Educational pricing, academic pricing. Good to know about.